YouTube, it's your boy Fisher Ken, and I'm back again, man. In the comment section, y'all have been asking for a catfish video. And man, I'm having so much trouble because there's so many other things I need to do. So this is what happened. So I went out to check the stalls to see if the donkeys were there. You know, the hee haws. Um, fishing was terrible. So there was no point to even turn on the camera. But what happened was I had this thing hit my jig. And I decided, you know what, since I gotta eat healthy and I hate baking crappie, I know I can either bake or blacken this piece of catfish. So what I'm gonna do today, guys, is just run through real quick how I clean catfish. I haven't done it in so long. I remember the steps, I'm gonna share it with y'all. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Did I do it right, did I do it wrong? So here we go guys, I'm gonna let you know I go two steps. Number one, I skin him first and then I take the fillets off. Let's get into it. What you're gonna need once you catch your catfish, I know I got a lot of new people. Once you catch your catfish, you bring him home. What do I do with this thing, right? It's a catfish. I don't know, it don't have scales, it's ugly, it looks funny. But listen, two things that I'm gonna use today is a fillet knife, and I usually have a pair of skinners that you can find at Walmart. Today, we're using these babies. I went ahead and washed them off real good. We're gonna use these and that's what we're gonna use to actually pull the skin off. So let's get into it. First thing I wanna do, let's talk about safe handling, okay? Um, with these things, there are some fins that you don't want nothing to do with. This right here will make you cry. This right here, will make you shout. And this one right here will send your butt to the hospital. AKA, all three of those are very dangerous. Those are the spines you don't wanna mess with. So when I'm handling this catfish with my off hand or my less dominant hand, I'll have my hand over his head and I'm holding him like this. If you can see, this is how I'm gonna hold this fish, all right? Down on my cutting board, I'm gonna make one cut it's gonna be directly behind this, this uh, fin. I'm gonna start at the head and I'm gonna come around. Easy cuts, easy cuts. I don't have the sharpest knife. A sharper knife makes it easy. Guys, we're gonna be tracing this, this catfish out. So there's my first cut. It's gonna be a little bloody. So if you're not used to blood, you might wanna click off now. Um, the second one, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the tip of this cut and I'm gonna run all the way down his back without digging too far into the meat, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna put this in. You wanna turn your knife up. And again, it's easier when you have a sharp knife. I'll turn it this way so y'all can see what's going on. And it takes a minute to get a hold of, all right? And then once you, you again, you don't wanna dig in and you just let your knife do the running. You see how he's opening up? I'm trying not to dig too deep because we don't want to actually get flesh. We just want to cut skin, all right? All the way to the tail, all the way to the tail. All right, now I'm going to flip him over. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to make our first cut. It's a C cut right around the gills and this fin that we're staying away from. So from his belly to his back, we're going to make a cut. We're not trying to... Uh, grind in there and cut his head off. We just want to again open the skin. Once that skin is open, we're going to go to the top again, get it started, and I'm going to put pressure upwards. Get you a good firm hold on your knife. You don't want to be throwing knives everywhere. And you're just going to run down this fish's back again. All right? Again, if I had a sharper knife, it would be a lot easier. This is one of my little cheap knives that I got from Walmart. Okay? So now, as you can see, we have the first cut, we have the second cut, all right? Now the third cut, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the back, but this time, down the belly. Here we go. And guys, I know people do it different ways. This is just Fish and Ken's version. So y'all take it and run with it. 
And again, we're going to put pressure coming up and we're going to follow it all the way down. Boy, it's been a long time. It's bringing back memories when we used to go to Twikin and catch those big old blues. Brings me back to catfishing with Old Hook City. This is what he loves to do, guys. Um, but I know I'm going to have to change this diet and I believe that uh, baked catfish or blackened catfish is going to be the way to go because there's only one way to eat a crappie. That's fried. All right, guys, so we got one full side done. As you can see, I've etched it out. You can see where the cuts are being made on the top side and on the bottom side, and again, around the gills. So we have the top side, we have around the gills. Now we're gonna open that up a little bit more, and we're gonna finish off the belly cut. So two belly cuts, two back cuts, and around the gills. So. Again, I don't want to dig in. I don't want to uh, puncture his belly or none of that stuff. I'm literally just trying to cut um, or open up the skin. Okay? This knife is giving me a fit, but y'all get the idea. Um, a sharper knife just makes it that much easier. And if I start catfishing, I'm going to have to go get me another knife because I use electric knives. And I wanted to show you the manual knife way for this catfish. Um, this is how I learned to do it. All right, so we've got him etched out. The belly, the back, the side. The belly, the back, the side. All right, this is where the fun begins. We had the fish etched out now, so we need to get to the second part of it, which is actually pulling the skin off the catfish. Today, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to use these. Usually, I'd be using... Um, I'll be using catfish skinners, like I said, that you can find at Walmart. What you wanna do, you wanna start right here in this corner. So you have an edge or a little flap of skin that's been made from when I went to the back and I made the side cut. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that with the skinners. I hope this works. There we go. All right, now this is why it's important that you don't dig into the meat because what's going to happen is we're now going to just peel this skin back you can already see how i've got it going and it's going to be following these cuts i've made so i'm going to stop i'm going to give me another good grip on this skin and i'm literally just going to pull towards his tail voila all right we're going to do it again on the other side so y'all can see that on the other side we're going to start right there in the corner up by the head there's going to be a little flap of skin there. And if there's not, you can always create yourself one. All right, kind of just scrape down, create a little flap there. And I want to grab it. Yeah, boy, I might have to create me a better one. Again, being that I didn't go too deep, that skin is going to come right off. Just keep getting a good bite on it and then pull towards the tail. You're gonna have to put a little muscle in it, so don't be being bashful about skinning it. Boom, so now we have both of the side pieces of skin off. Keep it clean, fellas. Ladies also. So here we are with a fish that has been skinned on both sides. Now, this is the part that might, be, make, might make people a little queasy, guys. We're gonna go ahead and um, get his head off, and then we're also gonna get rid of these fins. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this extra piece of skin that's on his backbone. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert this knife uh, under the skin, right behind his dorsal fin. All right, there's a bone there, but you can get right up under it, like so, and you're just gonna rest your knife. You can even put your finger under there just to help you, guide you, and we're just gonna get rid of that piece of skin. Okay, boom. Then I'm gonna go up, go around. Now, this is the thing. If you cut at an angle, you see how easy that knife went? You have to cut at an angle and you can get through the joints. All right, once that happens, you grab your fish. All right, guys, so removing the head and guts actually freaked my wife out and we had a little audio issue. But now, once the uh, guts and the head is removed, we're gonna wash out the body cavity real good and we're gonna move on to getting these catfish nuggets or belly meat off of the fish. This is where we are now. 
I'm gonna do this backwards so you can see. I'm gonna follow this line, okay? And, and, the, and the, this is basically the line I'm following inside of here, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do it upside down for the camera, and I'm gonna follow the body line. And what it's doing is I'm, I'm going right under the ribs, going right under the ribs, okay? Now that's all the belly meat right there. And really into the fillet, just depending on how picky you are. Um, but that's what belly meat looks like, all right? And all I have to do now is I have to remove this skin and I can go back with my pliers. And this usually, let's see, this usually will come right off. Just kind of hold it down and pull. You can get that skin off. All right. So there's one there's one nugget as they would call it. Um then the second nugget simple as that. All right? So I now have I tell you what, you can get rid of these anal fins simply by just cutting it away, guys. So now I have two catfish nuggets. Those are called nuggets. This part uh, with the anal fin, with the with the, an the anus and everything attached, I'm not gonna be messing with that. Um, if that's what y'all call wasting meat, I'm gonna give it away every time. We're gonna put that in our gut pile. We're gonna get rid of that belly skin. And now we have belly meat. Now, I can tell you right now, guys, don't serve this like this to anybody because this lining, this stomach lining is nasty, okay? It's not good, it makes the fish taste funny. What I like to do is just take my knife, literally the edge of my knife, and just scrape that away, and it'll actually scrape away. So y'all know that um, you can do that. Again, it, it, it just scrapes. You can scrape it away. There's a piece that just came off. We now have those nuggets I was talking about. Here's the nuggets I was talking about with the gray. Once I rinse them, all the rest of that gray will come off, but we want the gray all the way off. So we have two nuggets and we have a whole catfish. Now I can tell you, a lot of people like to batter this up just like this, fry it, it's delicious. Eat it off the bone, great, right? Um, also what you can do is now take this, this bottom off. I'm just gonna poke right in, all right? And you're gonna hear bones. You're gonna hear bones, and when you reach that certain point, you're gonna get right in them, okay? And I can probably even pull this out. If I can get my hands on it, it's slippery. Mm, okay. All right, so now we, we have that fin gone. And then, guys, it's not gonna be perfect all the time, so do whatever kind of little cleanup, little trim you need to do. It's fine. You know, if you want it to look all um, uniform do so uh, another way people do that is they actually grab it um, with their pliers or the skinners or whatever and they pull it off I like to cut it for whatever reason the knife's already in my hand so I do it same thing with the tail um, I, I, I choose not to use my fillet knife most of the time but if it's a smaller fish um, I can usually put my knife there and I am no pro at a there we go so tail off put that in my bag so here we are again this is how some people you might even see if it it might be starting to look like something you will buy from the store at this point right all right so this has bones in it still so again we have one more step guys to be completely done and ready to cook and what that is now is to actually fillet this skint um carcass or piece of catfish. Um, I always teach not to cut towards your hand, but for whatever reason, when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning catfish, I do. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get almost to the edge, I'd say about a finger width um, away from the edge, and I'm gonna just cut down until I hit the bone. All right, once I hit the bone, I'm gonna turn my knife, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna turn my knife, I'm gonna rest it up against the spine of the fish, all right? And I'm just gonna cut up. It's gonna cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up. Now, what happens is, here it is. Now this is the bonus part. Now we're at the rib cage. So what you can do, you can take your knife and kind of turn your angle just a little bit, right? And you can follow the rib cage. Look here. I can just let my knife do the work and I can debone 
and follow that rib cage all the way down. Keep your fingers in the clear. All right, and now we have a boneless, skinless catfish fillet. There are your ribs. And again, I followed the spine. Take a good look at this guy so you'll understand how the bone structure is. You cut in, you rest against this spine, you cut in, rest against the spine, and you literally just let your knife do the work until you hit that rib cage. This is what happens right here. I hit that rib cage, I turn my angle, and then I just begin to scrape down. And all it does is the bones act as a guide, and I just go right down those bones until I get that fillet. And this is what we got. Guys, this is a fillet. Boneless, skinless fillet. Ready to eat. Let's do the other side. Again, about a finger width away from the from the end of the tail. See that? Okay. I'll put my knife there and I'll cut down. Okay, and I, if you can hear that, I'm now hitting the bone. So I'm gonna turn and with a little pressure I'm just going to let the knife do the work. Keeping keeping that knife pressed up against the spine. Again, see how that's happening? Knife pressed up against the spine. All right? And when I hit that rib cage, I can feel it. Now, I can choose to cut through the rib cage or again, I can open her up, change my angle and work down the rib cage. Okay, hope y'all can see that. I can work down the rib cage now. And here we are with number two, boneless, skinless fillets. Probably not the most uniform, but guys, I can tell that those are two catfish fillets right there. That's what you get. And here you have your two nuggets. And then, if you're old school, like Hook City, there is a little bit of meat left on this on this uh, on this bone. You can actually fry that. Gets real crunchy. Some people just like to pick those little pieces of meat. And what I like to do with that is take a bigger knife and just chop that into three. Same thing with these fillets, guys. A lot of people's heads or are, are, are their their uh, minds are bigger than their stomachs are, um, and it doesn't take that much fish. Guys, if you want to make it look like it's fresh out of the store, you can you can begin to, to work on it um, and make it look good. Trim it up, make it look good, make it look really uniform. Um, and that's what we have here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, again, I am listening. We're going to get to the actual how to catch catfish videos. I know I kind of put the... Uh, the carriage before the horse, I guess some people will say. Um, but I know that there's people out there catching catfish already and don't know what to do. So um, I pretty much just gave you the steps to how to clean the catfish from the rooter to the tutor. You know, if you want to cook him whole and you just want to skin him, we did that today. Um, if you want boneless fillets, we did that today. If you want to eat backstrap and know how to get the fillets off of it first, we did that today. Um, using simple tools, a cutting board, a clean towel, a fillet knife, a sharp fillet knife really would help, and some type of skinner or plier where you can catch a hold to um, the skin. I also want to say uh, thank you to all the supporters out there, all of the Hook City citizens, man. Um, I want y'all to make sure y'all go check out the new, the brand new um, website, which is www.hookcitytv.com. Also, don't forget you can hit us up on email at hctv2too at gmail.com. Also, real quick, we want to give a shout out to ACC Crappie Sticks. If you need a stick, if you need something to, to go fishing with, believe me, man, my choice right now is the ACC Crappie Stick. Go to accrappiesticks.com, and that's ACC Crappie Sticks, S T I X.com. Get you a ride, man. Anything from the six foot six, the five, the seven and a half, which I love, um, the eight, which I love, the 10, which I love, the uh, 10 mid, the 10 rear. That guy has it covered, guys, for everything crappie um, as far as a good fishing rod. Also, if you're looking for electronics, let me tell you something. We have now partnered with the Bass Tank. 
You're talking about some humble guys, some family oriented men that really know their stuff when it comes to these electronics. If you want to spend your money and you want to spend your money right, they will let you know what you need based off of what you tell them you're trying to do. Hit up the Bass Tank, man. You heard it here first. It's your boy Fishing King, Hook City TV. Next up, I think I'm going to blacken this catfish. For right now, I'm tired. Mount you.